Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video here today. Today my friends we're going to be diving into the brand new zombies map Dead of the Night on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. At the time recording this video this DLC has just gone live. It comes with two new multiplayer maps and obviously uh, Reaper for Blackout and a lot of other cool stuff. So I was really excited about this and I thought you know what let's just jump into it and experience my first attempt on the brand new map. Join us for an oh, it's mad. evening. It's nice. Very creative paintings. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on this, guys. Like, have you been playing this map yet? Let me know. Obviously, this is available right now on the PlayStation 4. And I think about a week later, it'll be available on the Xbox One and PC. Um, but the, pretty much this DLC came out in the middle of nowhere. I know, obviously, early gameplay was leaked online and stuff. But I avoided seeing any of that. So we're jumping into this very blind idea. Like, very, very blind idea. I knew tiny little bits about the map from what people have told me from the early gameplay that they've seen. And I do know this is a prequel to Voyage of Despair. It's all about um, Alistair, Alistair Rhodes, which is um, Scarlet's dad. And we've got like a completely different set of characters we're playing as. Um, obviously you've got a cowboy, you've got a guard, you've got a um, butler and a fortune teller, which is, I'm assuming it's this woman. But other than that, I don't really know anything else about this map. <laughs> so we're going to be jumping into it very, very blind, I did. But since you guys keep asking me for a lot of zombies content, saying, come on, Aaron, play some zombies, make some zombies content, I thought, you know what, how about I just record my first ever game on this new zombies map? So I could do good, I could do bad, I do not know. I could find a lot of things, maybe I'll find Easter eggs, who knows? But all I want to do is... Experience them out the best I possibly can. Yes. Where is the old scoundrel? I've not seen Master Rhodes, but surely your crystal ball could. Yo. <laughs> them zombies are savage, just ripping off body parts left, right, and center. It's just like. It's mad. That is a really, really interesting intro, to be honest, guys. Like, <laughs> that looks really cool. So, this is the moment of truth. We're going to be able to dive into the gameplay. Wish me luck with this one, okay? And if you do enjoy these sort of videos and you want to see more of them, then give them a thumbs up and subscribe, and maybe I'll do some more um, gameplays on Zombies maps, even if it's just high rounds or something. If you want to see Easter eggs or something, maybe I can learn the Easter eggs and stuff and make you videos on them if that's what you would like to see. If not, I'll just do some gameplay on them if it is that you would like to see that. All you ask is drop a comment in the comment section, let me know if you want to see more, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So, this looks really, really nice. Like, look at the visuals. Right, so we need the Sentinel artifact like you do on Voyage of the Spare. We're playing as the fortune teller. 
This is our work for a lady. Good thing I'm no lady. Right. Let's clear out these zombies. Okay, Christina. Get a hold of yourself. Ghosts on the brain. Neither or monsters. What the hell they not? Okay, so we've learned that one of the characters' names already. Like, I didn't know any of the characters' names for the new group. Um, so now we know one of them. So our character's name is Christina. Christina the Fortune Teller. So I'm guessing these are all somehow a slight relation to Alistair Rhodes. Maybe they're friends or just people who know him really well or something. I don't know. It's like the Chaos Stories version of a transit crew, you could say. You know what I mean? Because obviously you got the Ether crew and the transit crew and the Ultimus crew. Maybe we're going to have loads of quite a few new crews maybe within the Chaos Storyline. With it being a fresh new storyline. That would be pretty cool, to be honest. But this place looks amazing. This is... I don't know. Like, I love colourful maps. Like, maps with very good visuals, nice colours and textures. And this map is just smashing it right now. This, And we've not even properly explored it yet. Right, the uh, Sentinel Artifact. Wow. <laughs> Horses of the spirit world, deliver us from darkness. And maybe stop sending all those dead blokes our way. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Don't send all the zombies this way. Right, so we, we are able to fast travel around this map as well, which is pretty cool. Just like you can on Voyage of the Spur. Um, but... Got a lot of areas to explore yet. I've heard from people who have seen early gameplay of this map. They told me this map is pretty big. But other than that, I just want to see if I can find any collectibles or any things that we can build or anything. Because like, I don't know what things you can build on this map. But if we can do that sort of thing, I'll be happy with that. Go for a reasonable high round. Maybe 30s, 20s, 30s, maybe 40s marker. And just... Explore the map as much as possible to give you guys a good perspective on my first gameplay on this map. I need this to cover my back. I'm assuming with the saying that that's a shield piece. Right. I love the smell of books. Closest thing to the smell of money. What's Ooh, Alistair what's got this? locked away in this case? Something special about this pistol? Oh, I know what that is. Um, from the leaks that went out before this map went live, I see uh, people were saying that this map has like a new, new gun that's similar to the ray gun, um, but for the chaos storyline. So I'm assuming, not 100% sure, could be wrong. I'm assuming that's the, the new version of the ray gun. Who wants some? Things blowing, all pretty light. Wonder what it does. Zeus perk statue. Why have I got to go to? What, what's that? Right. Like Zeus Just perk statue. Tell me something. I think. Do we need to go to it? Bonus points. I'm a better shot than I thought. <laughs> see, I want to learn all these new characters. I want to like um, to see what this crew's really like. I grew up in an East End tenement. Nine families lived in our building. This room could swallow it all. <laughs> nice. Okay. Not sure what I just put up my snoop. I'll take all the help I can get. So yeah, I have heard from people telling me that this map, obviously, it was mentioned in the leaks, but people who've seen early gameplay to this map, told me something about this map contains werewolves and vampires, apparently. Which, we're yet to see anything like that yet. All I'm seeing is zombies. So... I don't know if they're like boss rounds or something, or... Like how it is on the uh, map 9 when you have like, the gladiators or something. I do not know, but hopefully they're not going to be a struggle if there is any on this map. 
But from so far, from what I've seen of this map, it looks really, really good. Right. Alistair's bedroom. Some Something tells me this place has seen less action than a church on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> Maybe Alistair Rose didn't get mingled in with the ladies much, who knows. Well, he blame me when he's got zombies like trash in his bedroom. My dad was a butcher. Not sure why I just thought of that. Let's see what this is. Okay. It's a clock. So the first one showed me a perk statue. And that one showed me a clock. So I need to remember that sort of thing. Because I'm assuming it's gonna be for something useful. Or maybe there are items in the map that we need to collect or interact with or destroy uh, I don't know guys I generally don't know but I'm gonna have to try and look for these items to see if there are any use to us 50 of your closest friends Hades The spiritual world. Oh, bless Christina. Oh, okay. Is that the clock? Oh, don't think it is. Maybe it's a different clock. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, guys. Just trying to interact with random things as well. Because you never know. We might even find something useful. Might trigger an Easter egg or something. So I'm betting this map is ram packed with Easter eggs. Just hidden away behind things and on things. A little clock here. I think it was a big clock that I saw though. I'm not too sure. I think it was a big clock, like a like a grandfather's clock. Got to scratch up more dough. You looks just improved. Oh, 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 Rippity rip rip rip. Let's keep going, boys. Right. Is this door open? I do not know where this leads to, so. proper light try and open up all the map and I want to know how you get that gun like it looked like it had some symbols on the front of it so I don't know if that means anything whether it's we have to interact with some Ooh, uh. you see it too yes the clock yo what the hell's this oh, okay oh this this clock thing on the floor is so many zombies It gives you like a ritual sort of thing, which seems pretty cool. Kind of like the one that we saw in the intro cutscene where you had the butler that was on that balcony area. Kind of like that. Okay. Now what? Ah. Oh. Got work to do. Okay, so I get it now. I get it. So I'm assuming. When we saw that perk statue in one of the other gem things that we looked into, I'm guessing we got to collect these four things from him. Whatever four, I do not know, but I'm guessing we need to collect them. Maybe it's part of an upgrade or a wonder weapon or something like that, or to open a doorway or something, or something stupid like that. this. Ooh, right. Um, got quite a few, I've seen that workbench now. Right, so we've got quite a few things that we can craft in this map. <laughs> so I'm assuming there's going to be more workbenches lying around somewhere. 
Um. Okay, got another one there. Got the gem thingy. What's this? It's got a perk statue. Right. Uh, we need to find out where that perk statue is. Oh, nice. We get a head outside. So we're not just stuck in the mansion the whole time then. That's pretty cool. But people weren't kidding when they said this map's pretty big. Like, we've been through quite a few areas already. I've just got to try and remember the layout of the map as well. Remember where nice key things are. Long as we're not what's for lunch. Well, fingers crossed we aren't. Here oh my god, why has the colours gone dull? Okay, we found the perk statue. Zeus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Rats with wings what's that? is what they are. Rats. Yo, there's vampires. Yo, this is sick. I'll smash him up with my the with fans. my hammer. Got a freaking vampires here. Guessing I guessing they kind of replaced the dogs for this map or something like how um, nine replaced them with tigers and stuff. Okay, got another tuning fork. I don't know how many of these things we need. I'm assuming four, probably. Three, four. Come on. Let's keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. This Hades gun and everything, and the JKS are just an absolute beast. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are of the new stuff that they've implemented inside Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Are you happy with the new tier pass, with them adding camos and stuff, and an additional blackout characters and stuff in there? Hang on. Oh, that's one of the symbols for uh, where that gun is. It's got like a blue A. Okay, so maybe... Maybe the, we've got like look for these code things lurking around the map. So we've got a blue A, which is one of them symbols. There might be more out here, who knows? Maybe they're all just scattered here, there, and there, but. Where the hell is Guano? Wait. Mm. Look like, like a pile of poo. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, if we can build maybe some of the collectibles or something, or collect all the items, or. I don't know, figure out how to pack a punch, like I've got no clue how you pack a punch in this map, so that would be a good thing if we can find it on the recording. Right, so I'm gonna put this in. Right, so we've got a blue A. Oh no 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 got freaking vampires inside. Smash through all these. It's Hammer time. <laughs> Hammer time, boys. Right, come on. Uh, right, so we need blue. Yeah, it's already selected for blue. So we've got to try and find out where them other symbols are. I have not got a clue, so this, this will be interesting. Where will we find them all or not, I don't know. <laughs> but time will tell, okay? Time will tell. I'll try my best to find them, guys, okay? I promise you, I'll try my best. But I hope you all enjoying the video so far. If you are, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know if you want to see more zombies content. And who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do some gameplay on the other zombies maps and stuff. Just go for a good high round or something. Or just, just to do a gameplay on the maps or something. I do want to do easter eggs and stuff, but the only problem is I always find is even though I want to do these sort of things, I find that they're so time consuming and as a person who is very limited on time that he has in a day and obviously has to work and stuff, it's very hard to put them sort of videos together, which is why sometimes I can't always give you these sort of videos. Like now at this present moment in time of recording this video, I've got quite a bit of time today to 
record quite a bit today before I have to go and do other things. But I see it as normally I wouldn't get this much time that I wouldn't have, like I wouldn't normally have. So I see it as that's why I want to make this video while I had the opportunity to. Lucky for me, it came out like the DLC dropped today. Like obviously at the time of recording this video, like it dropped on the same day. Um, so it was like, okay, I'm gonna have to I do this while I got the opportunity to. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been able to make this into a video. Right, let's see what's out here. More outdoors. I've got the uh, dying, dying wish perk. I was gonna say dying wife. <laughs> Don't know why that came to my head. Oh, okay. Symbol. Yellow arrow. We have blue triangle, yellow bow and arrow. Well, I think it's this way. Right, quickly, quickly. Alright, so we've got two more symbols to get now. Which is obviously the green one and the red one. In the fireplace, you. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it! I do apologise. You just hear my phone going off, guys. It's like I forgot to put it on silent. I'm in your head now, sucker. Trying to look for collectibles and stuff. Everything that looks like it could be picked up. Um. Oh, okay. I've lost count of how many people have asked me why I bought Rhodes Manor. I should think the answer is self-evident. The druid ruins, of course. I got another shield piece there. I'm assuming it's for the shield anyway. Looked like it was. Um, right. I'm just trying to think. No, there's something dodgy about these fireplaces. There's so many fireplaces in different rooms. I don't know. I kind of feel like I could pick something up from it, like it's gonna have a collectible or some, some random thing lying by it or something. I don't know. Could this, with this sort of map and with how everything's laid out, it makes me think that there's a lot of things we can just pick up and use. Because it's just loads of things scattered on the ground or just tucked away in corners or just there in plain view. Nice. Oh my days. Move. Them freaking vampires are just so annoying. Really quick as well. I'm not going to lie. They are really quick. They almost move as quick as our playable character. So I think I'm going to need to invest in some more perks and I think I'm going to need like stamina up and stuff. Uh, let's go this way. Don't know it's worse being inside the mansion or out here. Don't know what it is guys, it kind of reminds me of a Resident Evil map as well. I get like Resident Evil vibes, like old classic ones when I see the sort of map. Let me know your overall thoughts and opinions, what you think of it. Ooh, hello. We've got a, another arrow to do, a green arrow this time. I know I'm going more of this like place to explore. <laughs> Which is exactly what I'd expect, Malastair. Max ammo. Hello. I 
don't know if there's anything else we can get in this room or not, so I'll we'll investigate around everywhere. See what we can find. Oh my days, vampires everywhere! Jesus Christ. That blood you're tasting? That's your own. <laughs> I'm loving this character. This character is awesome. It is like a celebrity group as well. Like some of the actors that are, well, the actors that are appealing inside as the main characters for this map, are seaters are very well-known, good celebrities. You probably might recognise them. I know one or two of them are, I think one or two of them are from Game of Thrones and stuff and loads of other cool stuff, but I can't remember off the top of my head what the names are, but I've, I've seen them in a ridiculous amount of things, trust me. You probably have seen them yourself, probably in programs or TV shows, because they're very well-known actors. Right. Okay, there's a steaming wheel there. That looks... Something like you probably use for an Easter egg step, I'm assuming. Um, so we had the green... Right, we've got the green arrow. Is that right? Let me just double check. Yep, yeah, green arrow. Um, that just leaves the red one afterwards. Okay, nothing happens there. I thought I might have seen something I could shoot. It's a green arrow. And... Nice. It's a weapon I don't tend to normally use quite much of, so I want to make the most of it whilst I'm recording this. Alright, just need to get my Zeus perk as well when I get the chance to. It's a green arrow. Right, I just need the red one now. Once I get the red one, we're sorted. Or I could try and guess it, but... Oh, no. I don't think you can do that. I'm not sure. Probably could, but... Meh. Just don't get why there's so many fireplaces in every single room. Pretty mad that is. If I learnt anything from Blood of the Dead, you can stick things in fireplaces <laughs> when it comes to upgrading weapons, so. Don't know. There's a potential that a fireplace could be useful for something. Right. Um. I don't know where I go now. I generally do not know. I'm trying to learn where everything is as well. So I don't have to keep running around trying to leak for certain things. There we go, it's been taken care of. Um I don't know. If I was a red symbol, where would I be? Bear in mind, this place is huge. I'm assuming either outside or somewhere inside. Cause if you think about it, I found some of the symbols outside areas. So, there's a chance there could be one indoors. Could be. Or, it's going to be out, probably out here somewhere, I'm guessing. And how are we meant to open it with all that muck sealing it shut? Okay, so I need another, I'm assuming I'm going to need another tuning fork because... Took away some of that right now, but it looks like I need to get rid of some more of it. Um, I don't know where Luke. Um, what about Alistair's bedroom? Zombies do my head. And, um, I 
Oh, I'm gone, I'm gone. Uh, just double check on the walls. Oh, I'm... Ah, so got... That's where it is. I've got a red arrow now. I knew it probably might be indoors somewhere. You know what I mean? This makes sense. You've had some outdoors. Should be one or two indoors. So we found it now, boys. We get to use the new version of the ray gun in this chaos storyline. Come to mama. Here we go. Well, come to papa, I should have said. Not to mama. I ain't no woman. Oh my days. This gun is insane. I wonder if you can pack a punch it or upgrade it. That would be sick if you can. I'm assuming you should be able to either pack a punch or upgrade it. It would make more sense, but... Brilliant. Nothing bad ever happens in the cellar. I detect sarcasm. Right. Just smash him and dice him. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Love this hammer. It's just, it's just sweet. Right, gaze into the stone. I think I've seen that somewhere. I think that's a painting. Too bad I can't read factories. No, literally, I swear I've seen that picture. As we've been exploring around the mansion, I swear I've seen that picture somewhere. I think there's a picture on the wall with that on it. I swear there is. I'm not sure where I've seen it. I swear I've seen it somewhere. There it is. Hey, the changed. Yo, there's a ghost. Oh, what now? Yo, that's cool. This map's got ghosts. It's got vampires. What's next? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. This is so awesome. Treyarch, talk about how he's like stepping up your game when it comes to map designs. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go up. Making progress, boys. That's what it's talking about right now. We're making progress. Move like a bat. Like a bat. Yo! So many flying like, vampires. So glad I got this weapon. This weapon's just insane. It really does like demolish the vampires so easily. Oh no 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 no! I'm a coming. Let's grab that. Like Olivia? Who's Olivia? You okay? Oh, okay. Chinny fork, chinny fork. One sec. I got it. Right, we've got three tuning forks right now. Um, I think we should get this perk while we're here. So obviously when we're obtaining my fourth perk now, I should have speaker automatically as well, which is good. So technically I've got five perks, but it's one of them things. I, I need my perks. So I could really invest into getting another weapon as well. And then we need to go on a hunt for pack a punch because I need the pack a punch machine in my life right now. We're on round 15. I'm no pack a punch. That's just not a good sign. <laughs> I know I've got a wonder weapon ray gun pistol thing. Oh my god, move! So glad I got dying wish on. This is insane. Them vampires are OP. You need to tune them down a little bit, Trey. Just, just a tiny little bit, yeah? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, 
Calm down, Count Dracula. Just go away, okay? I don't need it. Aaron is friend, not food. <laughs> thing does. The park is open. Yo. Here comes a welcoming committee. Yo. It's a werewolf. Blimey. No. I think I just it's next, Bigfoot. This is insane. Play dead. Oh, you good at these? Tea bag, tea bag, tea bag. Always wanted to do that. Sorry. How often do you get killed werewolves in games and get to teabag them? Not very often, so Ooh, had thing? to be done. Window to the so got the, got the well, obviously now where the pack a punch machine is. So now I know how to pack a punch. We're learning as we're going along, boys. We're learning as we're going along. Somebody right, I need the aftertaste on in case it go down. This thing can't work close enough. Oh my days! Oh my days! No 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 Damn it Freaking a holes it's so good I put that after taste on when I did otherwise I would have lost all my perks right now Such a very tight space as well Naked my god pervy eyes too many reasons to kill you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Could all Glad you could. I could. Max ammo. Oh, bollocks. What do you have to do? Oh, no, 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 no. There's another one, another one, another one. Need to move, need to move, need to move. Say what though, them werewolves can take quite a lot of damage. I'm assuming the bright scars on him are his weak points or his face. Nice. But this Alistair's uh, Foley, aka the new ray gun, seems to seems to cause it a lot of damage. So I'm gonna keep all of that bad boy because obviously we're gonna need that. Especially for them sort of things. And it seems to be very effective when it comes to um, vampires as well. So it's always something that you can take into consideration if it is that you haven't played this map yet. Or I'm just going by from what I'm noticing from, obviously, from me playing this right now. But round 17, we've gone down once so far. We're doing okay. We've explored quite a bit of the map. I don't know if there's anywhere else in this map that we need to explore yet. But we're gonna keep going. Right, who ordered the bang of the man? Oh, it looks like a few, I suppose. Bring home the money. Bring home the money. Nice. Nice. There we go. Pack a punch camo as well looks pretty nice. The sort of like blow, a bluey effect I've got for it. Um, and some more parts. I'm very curious to know what some of these um, buildable things are. Oh my god, vampires. Right. Cheeky grenade over there was good. Oh my days. Move, 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 move. 
Tell you it'll be something that would be really nice if Treyarch did. Obviously, alongside this new map, is obviously I know on December 13th. Okay. Um, depending on when you guys see this video, whether it's on December 13th or on the 12th or afterwards, I know they're going to be dropping in daily callings and some other cool stuff as well for zombies. It'd be good if they drop in a double XP, double XP, double weapon XP, and double nobillion plasma. Because I know they've got like some little special event going on for zombies where you can complete certain challenges to unlock some really cool stuff. But if they did that as well, that would be amazing because I'm trying to save up loads and loads and loads of plasma so I can give you guys a really, really cool plasma opening to try and get some really cool elixirs, talismans, and much, much more so. If they could do that for me, Treyarch, if you are watching this video, I would really, really appreciate if you could do that because that would be awesome. It would go really nicely alongside with this map. But what would you like to see next when it comes to zombies? Like, for both storylines, for the Chaos and for the Ether. now that we've had a Chaos story, is like zombies map, we're basically like a celebrity version of the map. Never get um, to that. What would you like to see next if it comes to the Ether story? Like, me personally, I'd like to see some remastered maps. And possibly have it bundled up alongside a new map. That would be pretty cool. So wherever they want to go after Blood of the Dead, that would be nice. And then um, obviously, or after Classified. And then after that, have it where they have like a remastered map. Maybe something like Newtown Zombies or something. Because that was been like spoke about saying it's going to be happening. Which I'd love to see new town zombies like inside Black Ops 4. I think it'd be really good. It'd be really good for just going for high rounds and leveling up in general. Because it would be in a small confined area. And then have it like so he ties in with the story with the Victor screw and releasing Molten and everybody from the bunker and stuff. Since the bunker is available within Blackout, that would be pretty cool. But I want to know your thoughts and opinions. What would you like to see? Right, round 20 right now, boys. We're doing pretty well so far. We've played for 43 minutes now, nearly. And I'm not going to lie. Out of 10, I'm rating this map. Or I'm really rating this map as a good 9 so far. Because this map is visually beautiful. It's a lot of fun to play so far. It's, I don't know. It's just so... It draws you in because you you got so much to look at. Um, I wish I knew more about this map and knew where things were and stuff because I do feel like a bit of a noob right now not knowing where anything is but obviously you guys can understand this is my first ever go on this new map so I'm not going to know it and plus I'm very I've literally like any early gameplay that people have been trying to show me I've not looked at it or nothing so it's I've just literally been very blind eyed when it comes into this I've only gone by the leaks and information I knew about before the map even Dropped like I didn't even expect it to just come out just like out the middle of nowhere. I heard I heard that it was obviously going to be a new map coming for the Chaos storyline, but I never knew it was going to be this soon. I thought generally I thought it's going to be after Christmas. If I'm totally honest. I thought maybe Christmas Day or just after Christmas, start of January, they'll drop DLC one, and I never expected like this. Like it's very confusing how DLC one has been structured because obviously. I, I originally did expect four multiplayer maps, a new zombies experience, something new for Blackout. That's about it, but obviously we had two multiplayer maps, a Blackout character, which was Reaper from Black Ops 3, and obviously technically Zero, where they're adding that character in during the new Contraband stream. And, you know, and a new zombies experience, as well as some other cool stuff, but... I don't know. I want to know what your thoughts and opinions on what you think of that. Like, are you happy with the way they structured the DLC content? <laughs> Alright, we need to go pack a punch some guns because this is going to get messy. I can tell my way out of that. I doubt very much I'll be tiling my way out of Adata. 
Gotta love this character, Christina. It's very cool. I want to learn what the other characters are like yeah, as well. Well, let's get out of this wood area because it's not really a good place you want to be messing around in. Sorry. Sorry. We can do this. What do you call a girl with no ammo? Dead mate. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. It's cheesy. Straight to the point. Oh my days. Move, 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 move. Almost got this to level three right now. Almost. Nice level three. Empty. Just like my wallet. Just like my wallet too. When it comes to payday. <laughs> Not gonna lie, guys. Payday when it comes to work and stuff. When you work and you have to pay bills and and all that lot, and you have a very busy structured like lifestyle. Like with my lifestyle, it's very complicated like i i struggle to have time for many things these days oh, like because yeah. my gun turn back to to give you a little bit of a preview into things i see it as i work nights i make youtube videos in the day i try to balance well, sleep really see my, my personal my life and other I? things all in between that and most of my money believe it or not if it's not on computer games and bills and shopping and stuff it ends up going on it ends up going back in work, like, end up raiding vending machines and, you know, stuff like that, so. But at the moment of time, Christmas has been the big thing that's been eating my wallet, like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know Christmas is all about love and spend it with your family and loved well, ones and stuff, but when it comes to presents, you eat your wallet. You'll learn that when you get older, okay? So you younger viewers, enjoy Christmas where you can, because when you get older, and you got bills to pay, and you got jobs, you're going to wish that you were a little kid again, because I know I do sometimes. It's just the way it is. Move like a bat, die like a rat. One thing I would like to see that I would like Treyarch to do, and I think it'd be so cool if they did it, um, is a Christmas Zombies map on console. Like a Christmas Nuketown Zombies map. I think that would be awesome. Because then, I don't know, I think it would just be something that a lot of YouTubers and gamers all around would love to have. Or just like, I don't know, revamp some of the Zombies maps that are in the game. Like Blood of the Dead, for example, and just make it snowy or something like that. I think it'd be really cool. Oh my days! That was very close. They could have easily got me there. Answer yourself, mate. Just gun now. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This gun is amazing. Yes, enough. It's one of my new favorite wonder weapons right now. Bit of extra Valhalla. Valhalla? <laughs> Look what happened to that zombie. It's just like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> loving it. That's enough screaming from you. Right. I'm trying to think, what shall I do now? I've got pack a punch weapons. Um, I can't pack a punch the Alistair's Fury. There must be. I'm I'm assuming there is an upgrade step for it to make it even more powerful. 
I'd be very, very surprised if there isn't, but assuming there is, but I wouldn't know where to start when it comes to that sort of thing. So I'll leave that to the experts like Mr. Dollar JD and everyone to find that. <laughs> um, but we need to try and see if we can fish off these collectibles, like these these craftable items that we can make. Where to start with them, I have not got a clue. Then we can learn what these things do. Um... Vampires. <laughs> Alright, sit down here. See if there's anything down here for me. Um Don't mind if I do. Alright, so we've got all them three fire trap things. Ooh. Hope this proves useful. That is mine. Got a plate, so I don't know what the hell that does. down here. I don't think there is. And we're all good. Fine. Right, see if we can craft anything. Ooh. Find us keepers. Okay. What does that do? This one's all I ever need. That's true, but the other problem is though, the ammo count on it is not really the best. And I think they do that on purpose, because it's such a good gun. Um, oh, hang on. Another puzzle piece. Nice. Naked, bitey, pervy eyes, too many reasons to kill you. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, where's my gun? Failing so loud. Well, there's no quitting this one. Alright, let's keep going, keep going. These vampires are really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. They need to... I think they need to tone down the speed of them a little bit and slightly alter the damage because, I'm not gonna lie, but they are really quick. I've got like stamina up and they can keep up with me. That should be right. <laughs> Don't know. From all that like stuff that we've been picking up, it's making me think right now. I'm thinking, think well, we've you got know. one from out of a warehouse, like like out of a a lab sort of area. We had another one from outside. And it, I don't know, I'm assuming from video games that I've seen that have done the same sort of thing before, fire or something chemical like water would be very good for that sort of range of things that we need to collect. So I'm going to have a look by fireplaces or in watery areas if there is any. To see if we can collect anything that could go towards my craftable items. I'm not gonna lie though, that werewolf took ages to take down. Alright, we're all geared up. Um Do, 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 do. Right. Um. I feel like I'm on a mad little goose chase right now. I once heard a concert vampire story. Oh, I'm getting out of here, boys. I'm just fleeing the scene. <laughs> Bum that, boys. I ain't staying there. Oh, 
so my days. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe. Yo! This is insane. Move, 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 move. Oh, zombies everywhere. I'm so glad I got dying wish. Just move, 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 move. Screw this, boys. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, werewolves and everything. It's like, go away. I'd like, like, a three second break, please. <laughs> move, 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 move. Yeah, I need ammo. I need ammo for my ray gun. Don't stop me now. Not like you ever could. Big dude! Why won't you die? Who's a dead boy? You are on you. Breaking disaster. Breaking disaster. I'll throw run out of bullets and get torn to pieces, Barati. <laughs> oh, man, I love these characters. Well, I love this character. I want to see what the other characters are like. I should have really played with bots on. I think that would have been a lot more easy. So they could just learn all the character speeches and the quotes they say. I think it would have been a lot, of, but it would have been a lot more fun. But I just want to learn the map before I ever do that sort of thing. But this Christina character seems really, really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Check the fireplaces in this room. Oh, found something. Like a bat. Like a bat. Nice. We can use my wonder weapon. What are we even like other guns? This one's all I ever need. Pretty much, yes. Just need more ammo for it. <laughs> Boom. Move, 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 move. Come on, Aaron, we can do this. Box office dynamite! Silver bullets? Well, maybe no, it's just giving me loads of bullets. That is sweet. We can literally craft bullets. That is sweet. I'm not going to lie, guys. That is sweet. Hold on. Literally, you can be stuck up on bullets doing it. Can you do it with this? Ah, oh, you can't do it with the Alistair's Foley. That's not fair. If you could, that would be amazing because I'd never run out of ammo. So for normal weapons, if it says that, you know, I'm running out of ammo and I don't want to go looking for the weapon or if I don't have the weapon as a wall buy weapon to get ammo from, I can just run to that thing and it'll give me some ammo. Sweet. 
These toxic vampires have little power. Did you notice? That or all the wedding tackles on backwards. That blood you're tasting. Oh, me, 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 me. Some parts. I don't know what that to do. I'm not gonna clue. Ah! Come on, come on. Not sure what just happened, but I could really use a cigarette. <laughs> it's typical, that is. Oh, no, 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 no. Build my shield. Well, it's not exactly nice. Oh, right, we made some really, really good progress so far from my first game on this map. I'm not going to lie, guys. We're doing better than I thought we were going to do. I didn't think I was going to find any of the craftable items or anything, but we're doing really, really well so far. We discovered how to get the wonder weapon. Um, I'm assuming you're going to be able to get it from the box as well. I'm not 100% sure. I'm assuming you can. But we found a way of obviously gaining it for free, which is good by completing like a mini quest to do it, finding the symbols. We've got his perks, we've got the shields, we've built some silver bullet thing. I'm gonna take that, I think we're doing pretty good. Another than annoying vampires, massive werewolves that take off half my ammo, and bear load of zombies in a massive big map. This map is pretty big, I'm not going to lie. A lot of routes to it. I think we're doing pretty good. Like, I'm enjoying it. But the Easter egg to this map as well is going to be insane. And the outro cutscene is probably going to be amazing, but... I don't know. But you have to let me know down below in the comment section. If you want me to play more zombies in the future, when I've got more time off and stuff, and you want me to make more videos and this sort of thing, then let me know. I'd like to do Easter eggs. Literally, I get so many people ask me about this in the past. They're like, Aaron, come on, do some Easter egg. Do Easter egg run throughs. As much as I want to do them, I just don't have the time to most of the time. I'm not going to lie, but it's something I'm trying to work on. Obviously, you got to understand as well, I'm prepping for my second channel that's coming soon as well. Um, so, time is kind of against me at the moment, but. That's why I stick to mainly do multiplayer videos, because multiplayer, I could do a lot of videos and keep them rolling and make many, many, many videos on them. Um, or other occasional Battle Royale games and stuff. But I am trying to work into other things as well, especially leading to 2019 as well, guys. So don't worry, I'm going to have a lot more things. And I'm going to be booking off some holidays and stuff soon from work, so I can work on more things as well. So don't worry. Um, I'm just trying to think. What else could I do right now? Round 29. We've built majority of the things I know I can build. Um, I don't know what else I can do. We should get some more ammo for this thing, though. This one's all I ever need. This thing's insane. Alright. Cheeky grenade. No, 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 no. Move, 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 move. much. That was close. Oh, 
Bad enough. We got a big hairy mess on our hands. Oh my god. Where off, dude? I need you to go away. Go away, go away, go away. Or am I just sleeping that much? Let sleeping dogs lie. Am I right? Tea bag, tea bag. No bullets. But I don't know much. I can tell my way out of that. When it comes to bullets, I got myself sorted. Let's get some silver bullets. Never run out of ammo. Um Just trying to think, what else could I do? Like I don't know. <laughs> Who do you think? Um, a girl with no ammo. Dead mate. Dead mate. Right. Oh no 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 no! Turn back to a pumpkin. <laughs> if only. Right. Round 31 so far, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go for 50 or something. 100. I don't know. I just, like I said, for my first game on this map, I just want to give you guys a good tour of the map. And... Just learn as much about it as I possibly can. If in the future you want me to do more on this map, or in any zombies map in general, and you want me to go for massive high rounds like round 50 or 100, I can do that if that's something that you'd like me to do. Um, but other than that though, this map is amazing. Like it's so good. I just want to say thank you Trout for this because this map is just amazing. I do think you need to nerf the vampires slightly because I do find I'm a little bit OP slightly nerf him and nerf the speed on him and the werewolves I don't I, I just don't get why there's so much of a bullet sponge like literally they take up like literally three quarters of my clip just to kill one of them if you could nerf the damage it takes on them just slightly that would be amazing other than that this map's really good I like it just the way it is oh, no 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 Shield's been broken. I need a new shield. Nice. No 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 I need to move. So glad I got dying wish on. I need some ammo, not gonna lie. Keep wanting to switch to my wonder weapon now, I've got no bullets and it's like no I need bullets. Ooh nice. I'll take that. I'll smash him up. good time. a girl with no ammo. Dead mate. Dead mate. So it's all about dead mate. Um, just trying to think. Let's 
There's got to be something we can do. Is there more craftable items I could try and go for or something? Or... I don't know. I need some ammo though. Uh, silver bullets. Where are you? Where are you? Hang on, I'm on this one. No bullets. But I don't know much. I can tell my way out of that. So the way you gain out of here is if we do the Easter egg, which I don't know how to do it, even I'll start the thing. Um, but so far so good guys, so far so good. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to go any higher or not, I'm not too sure. Um, probably might do a few more rounds. I don't know. I don't want to do around 50 or around 100 attempts. Not my first game on it anyway. I've got like literally a lot of recordings I need to do today before I go out and go and see friends and family. So it's just one of them things. And then later on I'll be jumping back on multiplayer and trying to grind out some more camos and stuff for weapons. And grind out the new contraband stream. Nice! But if Trey up put anything to do with double XP and stuff and zombies, I'm going to jump on it. I'll be straight on zombies, so they need to do that, okay? <laughs> they need to do that for me. So I'm still be using my double XP tokens for multiplayer that I got from Monster Energy Drink cans. Um, so I'll have like an hour of double XP every day, which I, I make the most of that, so I'll level up quite a bit. But mainly, I want, I would like something for zombies, like something to keep me busy. I know, obviously, you got the coolings and stuff, and they're kind of like the, you could say a winter event for this game. That's, that obviously comes out, um, but I'm after double XP, a lot of double XP, weapon XP, so I can level up my guns quicker, and double the billion plasma. Like that would be sweet. Oh my god! No. Perks. Oh, escape, you love stuff like this. Did for him in the end. He just forgot to escape. Okay, there's nothing on that table we could have um, obviously interacted with. We have a loot though. You know what I mean? It's worth a loot. So yeah, what's your overall thoughts and opinions on this map? For everywhere that I've shown so far within the map, what do you think of it? Like, do you like it? Do you not? think it's cool? Do you think it's bad? Do you prefer the other maps in the game? Let me know. Like, me personally, if I had to rate the maps in this game, it's a very difficult decision because I like all the maps when it comes to zombies. My favourite ones, I do love Blood of the Dead because I was a big fan of Mob of the Dead back in the day. Um, but I do like Voyage of the Spare. Like, Voyage of the Spare, I think it's a really interesting map. Not only is it just on the Titanic, it's just a very beautiful map in general. Nine a light because of the theme of it and just how easy it is to get around the map. It's a very straightforward map. Um, classified, I don't know, as much as Classified's a cool map, because I played a lot of five on Black Ops 1 back in the day, it kind of put me off the idea of that map, even though the map's pretty cool. I do like how the map is. It's just one of the maps like I just knew because I played so much back in the day. If that makes sense. Like, I know, I know you could probably say, oh, well, about Mob of the Dead, it's Blood of the Dead, it's the same as Mob of the Dead. Well, it is, but as new areas. I know Classified as as well, but the gist of the main map is exactly the same, near enough. But, I don't know. All the maps in this game are really good, and I look forward to seeing what other maps is going to be in the future. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of remake maps just being bundled in there. Even if it's just a free map or a map that you have to pay a couple of quid for or something, I don't mind that. Because Treyarch has got something good they could do with his zombies. And I'm interested to see more about this Chaos Story crew as well and learn their story. Ooh, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Hmm. 
Oh, come on. Die already. Hey, where's my gun? Nah, me, 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 me. Days. This werewolf is a pain in the butt. Nice. Yo, what's he dropped? Oh, okay. First time I've had to clean up after a dog. So it's dropped one of the parts. There's gonna be another machine. There's gonna be another part for I it. Could use a fresh I didn't know what that's off though. Right about now. Um, trying to think what else can we do. Could try and see if we can find for the other part or something. That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, we got this um, perk. That's pretty cool though. I'm gonna you. I need to leave this area because I'm not turning into a vampire food. I'm all good. Again! Again! My pew 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 is about to go click, click, click. Oh, they look kind of cute. They don't look cute at all. And things want to destroy you. <laughs> Why is it cute? I don't get it. Right, let's hit the trap. Going, 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 going. Forest. Sure beats the two penny tube. Empty. <laughs> Just like my wallet. Is this supposed to make my teeth hurt? Right. Um. Just trying to think. Gunning my way through. I do apologize if I go quiet as well when I'm playing because it's when it comes to zombies, I try to take it a little bit serious and it's like I zone out a little bit. I've always done this sort of thing when it comes to things that I've really engraved myself into. Like, for example, right now, this zombies map, I like a proper drawn into it. So, when I'm drawn into something, I find that I go quiet sometimes because I'm so focusing. That's that's one of the things that with being a YouTuber. And a gaming co like commentator as well when it comes to commentating on videos it's more of a it's a very tricky mechanism and a lot of people don't understand it unless you actually do it like if you ask any youtuber who makes face cam videos who makes videos and plays games the whole technique behind commentating and gaming and concentrating is a very difficult mechanism and a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people think, oh yeah, it's straightforward. You're just talking to a mic, you play a computer game. If only it was that simple. Trust me, if only it was. But it actually isn't. But obviously, the more that you do of it, like the more I do with this, the more easy it gets. So that's why a lot of people like myself tend to make it look really easy to do. But I think for me, though, it's more of a... Because I used to do radio presenting back in the day. I find that... I think it's, I think it's just because of radio, you know what I mean? I think the radio helped me quite a lot when it comes to presenting videos. I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing oh, now man. if it wasn't for that, so... Yeah. Does my gun turn back to a pumpkin? Right. Let's keep going now, boys. <laughs> That's mad. Let's leave this area. 
Ooh, again. Again. We got to a good round as well, guys. We got to a really, really good round. I'm not gonna lie. Empty. Just like my wallet. Ask your little sods. Preheat to 400. Invite main calls to shamble through and Bob's your uncle. Oh, no, 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 no. Careful, 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 careful. Naked, biting, curvy eyes. Too many reasons to kill you. Sorry. Wait, that is not your bog standing. No, 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 no. I can't. I couldn't move. Fair play, I couldn't move then, but still, I just want to say guys, my first ever game on this map, it's a lot of fun, once I've learned the map a little bit more, I can go for a higher round or something, but I think we did pretty well, hopefully you all enjoyed the video, if you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, let me know if you want to see more zombies content here on the channel, if you do, then I'll get around to playing some more zombies in my free time, and I'll try to record some more videos for you all, have a great day, Thank you for all the continued support upon the channel. Hoping that you will have a great day, and I'll see you again on my next video.